interruptions, please. We all know how handsome, handsome Gumball. Gumball is, but he's still in detention. Then you leave me no choice. It was then that you pom-pommed him unconscious. <laughs> Shaved off his hair to punish him, covered him in paint to humiliate him, wrapped him in toilet paper to keep him quiet, and stuffed him in my locker as proof of your deranged obsession for me. It was you! <gasps> but I forgive you because I am madly in love with you two. Yeah, well, that's not quite what happened. I had finally finished my painting of the cheerleaders, and I went to hang it in the stairwell. I guess it was still wet, and I must have got paint on my pom-poms. And did anyone see you supposedly hang this alleged painting in this so-called stairwell? Yeah, you did. Hey, Penny, I love you! You're painting, you're painting. I love your painting. Remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. So, if Penny didn't do it, who did? Hmm, it must have been you! I said it was him! <gasps> Why me? Well, yesterday you were wandering around when suddenly, at the age of 27, you realized your youth was behind you. Oh. Then all your hair fell out. Bummer. When you saw Principal Brown's lustrous hairy coat, you were overcome with jealousy. Yeah. And acting on impulse, you attacked him. Yeah. <gasps> you frantically plucked out all of his hair, dyed it the right color, and used it to cover your balding shame. Then planning to mislead any investigation, you painted Principal Brown, wrapped him in toilet paper, and stuffed him into my locker. The perfect crime. <laughs> Save for one thing. Huh? When you stuck the new hair on your body, there wasn't quite enough, which explains this bald spot on your hand. <gasps> Dude, you've got it all wrong. I got this bald spot when I was cleaning yesterday. You see, I spilt some really strong chemicals on my hand and it burnt off the hair. See? Ah! If that's the case, how come I can just pull your hair right off? Ah! Oh, stop! Ah! No! Ah! Oh, okay then. I guess it wasn't you. Who could it be? All this suspense is making me sweaty. Why don't you just wipe your brow with that toilet paper suspiciously stuck to the bottom of your shoe? <gasps> I can't believe I'm about to say this, buddy, but... It was you! <gasps> yes! Yes! I did it! I'm a monster! A monster! Just lock me up. I'm a menace to society. <laughs> Take me away! I rest my case. <laughs> but Darwin couldn't have done it. Really? We all saw you on the bus when we went home. Then how do you explain the toilet paper? You've had it on your feet all day, dude. Didn't you notice? Don't remember any toilet paper. So it wasn't Penny, it wasn't Rocky, and it wasn't Darwin, which leaves us with only one suspect, the only person who knew the combination to the locker Principal Brown was found in. <gasps> you! <gasps> oh. <laughs> That's all the proof I need. You're coming with me, Watterson. Wait, you're forgetting one bit of crucial evidence. And what's that? I'll just go and get it. He's not coming back, is he? No. No homework for the one who catches him! Yeah! I'm feeling a little better. Oh. Ah!